so for number 21 the binary operation asterisk is defined on the sets of integers such that p asterisk q is equals to pq plus p minus q find two asterisk three asterisk four so note that binary operation is just substitution though we are still going to treat the topic but if you have studied before you can grab the solution now if you have operation like this so you have to start with the bracket three asterisk four so start with three asterisk four so it means if you compare with your question it means p is equals to three q is equals to four so anywhere you see p and q here put the values respectively that is put three equals four and q equals uh, put p equals three and q equals four in that expression that is what it means so we are going to do what we have in this bracket first so that's what we solve now. So now P is 3. So PQ will be like 3 bracket 4. Because P is 3, Q is 4. Do you see P is 3, Q is 4? So compare with this two, P and Q. So PQ will now be 3 bracket 4 plus P. So P is 3 minus q that is minus four so you can even do this straight if you like three times four twelve plus three minus four so now fifteen minus four so you get eleven so that means everything in this bracket now is eleven so your questions will now reduce to two asterisk 11 so that's what you have now because you have done the bracket so again this is p this is q put it in this expression again pq that will be two brackets 11 plus p that is two minus q that is 11 so now two times 11 that is 22 plus 2 minus 11 22 plus 2 24 so 24 minus 11 so that will give you 13 so that means the final answer is 13 so the correct option is B so like that so now let's look at number 22 Let's see number 22. The binary operation is short already because it's just substitution. So after substituting, you can even do the calculation mentally. So it's not something difficult, just substitute. Now, this is still under binary operation but different aspects. So 23 now. So a binary operation on the set of real numbers is defined by m asterisk n is equals to m n divided by 2. So this is another aspect. For all m, n is a member of real number. That's the meaning of this. If the identity element is 2, so E is called identity element, find the inverse of minus 5. Now, you will learn this as a topic, but for the sake of solution, I'll just substrate. Just try to understand. So, if you have inverse, this is the definition of inverse. You want to find inverse of minus 5. So, that will be minus 5 asterisk minus 5 inverse is equals to E. This is the definition for the inverse because the question says find the inverse of minus 5. So what you will do is you say minus 5 asterisk minus 5 raised to the power minus 1 is equals to minus 5. So if I say uh, is equals to E, rather, that is the identity element given. If I say find the inverse of 
A for example, you will say A asterisk A inverse is equal to E. If I say find the inverse of X, you will say S asterisk S inverse is equal to E. If I say find the inverse of 2, you will say 2 asterisk 2 inverse is equal to E. So, but because the question says find the inverse of minus 5, so I will say minus 5 asterisk minus 5 inverse is equal to E. E is the identity element. So you compare these two. That means this is M and this is N. So now substitute here. So Mn will become minus 5, minus 5 inverse divided by 2. Remember, M is minus 5, N is minus 5 inverse. So divided by 2. Everything equals to E. And E is given as 2. That means E is 2 divided by 1. Now cross multiply and find minus 5 inverse. So this will be minus 5 brackets minus 5 inverse is equal to 4. So like that. So now divide both sides by minus 5 because you need to find this. So that means minus 5 raised to the power minus 1 equals minus 4 over 5. So you divide both sides by minus 5. So that means we have solved for inverse of minus 5 like this. Because this power minus 1 means inverse. So the answer is minus 4 over 5. So the correct option is A. Can't say clearly, but I believe that is minus 4 over 5. So we are done with that.